Amber, fossilized tree resin, acts as nature's time capsule, preserving ancient insects, plants, and even small animals in stunning detail, offering us a rare glimpse into ecosystems that vanished millions of years ago. Travel back 99 million years to the lush primeval forests of what is now Myanmar. Imagine a world teeming with strange plants and ancient creatures, where towering trees stretch toward a hazy sky and the air is thick with the calls of distant animals. In this vibrant ecosystem life and death played out in ways both familiar and utterly alien to us. Here, a tiny creature's fate was sealed forever when it became trapped in the sticky embrace of tree resin. The resin, oozing slowly down the bark, was a silent predator capturing insects, leaves, and, in this extraordinary case, something far more remarkable. Encased within a golden droplet of amber is not the usual insect or plant fragment, but the exquisitely preserved feathered tail of a small, non-avian dinosaur. This is a discovery that rewrites what we thought we knew about the age of dinosaurs. The fossil, just three and a half centimeters long, reveals a wealth of detail. Its primitive feathers, delicate barbs and barbules but lacking a central shaft, offer a rare glimpse into the early stages of feather evolution. These structures are unlike those of modern birds, hinting at a time when feathers were still new to the world. Remarkably, the tail's vertebrae and even traces of soft tissue are visible, preserved in astonishing detail. This fossil bridges the evolutionary gap between ancient dinosaurs and the birds we see today providing direct evidence of their shared ancestry. This discovery is a game changer. It proves that feathers evolved long before dinosaurs ever took to the skies. Instead, these early feathers likely served other purposes, perhaps for insulation, keeping these small creatures warm, or for display, helping them attract mates or intimidate rivals. Picture this tiny dinosaur darting through the dense undergrowth, its feathered tail flickering behind it. The feathers may have shimmered in the dappled sunlight, a blur of color and movement as the animal searched for food or evaded predators. It's a scene that brings the distant past vividly to life. The fine challenges our understanding of evolution itself. It shows us that features like feathers can emerge for one reason, such as warmth or display, and only later be adapted for something as revolutionary as flight. Evolution is a process of constant experimentation, and this fossil is a perfect example of nature's creativity. It's a vivid reminder that even the smallest fossils can reshape our view of life's history. A fragment no bigger than a fingertip can open a window onto a vanished world, revealing secrets that have lain hidden for millions of years. The feathered tail in amber is more than just a fossil, it's a direct tangible link to the origins of birds. By comparing its structure to modern feathers, scientists can trace the incredible journey from dinosaur to bird, step by evolutionary step. Each new piece of amber, each fossil discovery, has the power to transform our knowledge of the past. These golden tombs are time capsules, preserving moments from a world long gone and offering clues to the mysteries of evolution. What other secrets might still be hidden in these ancient stones? Every piece of amber could contain a new chapter in the story of life, waiting to be discovered by curious eyes and careful hands. The story of life on Earth is far from complete. Every fossil fragment, every discovery, brings us a little closer to understanding our planet's incredible history and reminds us that there is always more to learn, hidden just beneath the surface, waiting to be found. Imagine stepping back in time to the lush, mysterious forests of the Cretaceous period, 100 million years ago. The air is thick with humidity, and towering ferns and ancient trees create a shadowy canopy overhead. In this primeval world, a silent drama unfolds. A spider, perched on its delicate web, waits in perfect stillness, every sense attuned to the faintest vibration. Suddenly, a wasp, glinting in the dappled sunlight, ventures too close. The spider tenses, ready to strike, its fangs poised for the kill, but in a split second fate intervenes. A sticky flow of tree resin oozing from a nearby trunk sweeps over both hunter and prey. The spider lunges, the wasp flails but neither can escape the relentless grip of the resin. Their struggle, fierce and desperate, is halted mid-motion, captured in a moment that will outlast the ages. Millions of years later, this very scene is discovered in a piece of amber unearthed in Myanmar. The fossilized resin has perfectly preserved the spider and its wasp victim, locked together in their final encounter. It's an extraordinary snapshot, a rare predator-prey moment frozen in time, 
offering us a direct window into the behaviors of creatures that lived long before humans walked the earth. Look closely, the spider's fangs are bared, ready to strike, while the wasp's wings are caught mid-beat, as if still trying to escape. This is not just a fossil, it's a prehistoric drama, paused for eternity, capturing the tension and energy of life and death in the ancient world. Fossils that preserve behavior, not just bodies, are incredibly rare. Most fossils show us what ancient creatures looked like, but amber like this reveals how they lived, hunted, and interacted. It's a unique window into the daily struggles and triumphs of life from a world long vanished. What's even more remarkable is how familiar this scene feels. Even today, spiders and wasps engage in similar life and death battles. This fossilized encounter shows that the dance of predator and prey has endured for millions of years, a testament to the continuity of nature's cycles. Amber's true magic lies not just in preserving the bodies of ancient creatures, but in capturing moments, fleeting instants of action, struggle, and survival. Each piece is a tiny time capsule holding within it the secrets of ancient behavior and interaction. This fossil doesn't just tell us who lived in the Cretaceous forests, it reveals how they lived, how they fought, and how they died. It's a vivid reminder that every creature, no matter how small, played a role in the grand story of life on Earth. The spider and wasp, forever entwined in their final act, remind us of both the fragility and the resilience of life. Their story, preserved by chance, echoes through the ages, connecting us to a world that once was. Each piece of amber is a window into a lost world, preserving not just the forms of ancient life, but the very moments that defined their existence. Through these golden relics, we can study the details of creatures that would otherwise be lost to time. For scientists, discoveries like this are invaluable. They deepen our understanding of evolution, ancient ecosystems, and the complex web of interactions that shape life on our planet. Each new find adds another piece to the puzzle of Earth's history. The fossil record is vast and often incomplete, but amber provides some of its most vivid and detailed pieces. These fossils help us reconstruct ancient worlds, one golden fragment at a time. Through these golden windows we glimpse the drama, the beauty, and the mystery of life long gone, reminding us that every moment no matter how small can echo across the ages. Deep in prehistoric jungles, a tick trapped in amber holds a chilling secret, the oldest known blood cells. This tick, preserved for a hundred million years, is nearly identical to modern ticks, proof of their evolutionary success. Scientists believe the blood inside may have come from a feathered dinosaur, linking parasite and host across eons. While extracting dinosaur DNA remains science fiction, these blood cells offer a direct connection to ancient physiology. By studying them we learn about dinosaur diets, diseases and immune systems. Even reviled creatures like ticks can unlock major scientific mysteries. Amber's clarity preserves not just the tick but its last meal frozen in time. Each tiny fossil can rewrite what we know about prehistoric life. The tick in amber is a reminder that even the smallest creatures can have the biggest stories. In the world of paleontology, no detail is too small to matter. Enter the Cretaceous undergrowth where the hell ant, Lingua Myrmex Vladi, waits, its scythe-like jaws and horn ready to impale prey. Trapped in amber, this extinct predator reveals a bizarre chapter in ant evolution. Unlike today's social ants, hell ants were solitary hunters, relying on brute force and unique weaponry. Their metallic horns and fearsome mandibles set them apart from any living species. The Cretaceous was a time of giant insects and fierce competition, and the hell ant was a top predator. This fossil shows how evolution can produce creatures both terrifying and fascinating. The hell ant challenges our assumptions about ants and highlights the wild diversity of prehistoric life. Each amber discovery adds a new thread to the tapestry of Earth's history. The past, preserved in amber, continues to surprise and inspire us. Deep within the lush, ancient forests of what is now Myanmar, a remarkable event unfolded over 99 million years ago. A tiny bird hatchling no bigger than a human thumb met an untimely end, but its fate would become a scientific marvel. Encased in golden amber, this prehistoric chick was shielded from the ravages of time, its delicate features frozen in exquisite detail for eternity. What began as a small tragedy in the Cretaceous period has become one of the most extraordinary windows into the distant past, offering us a rare glimpse into the world of ancient birds. This fossil belongs to an enantiornithine chick, 
a now extinct group of primitive birds that once flourished alongside dinosaurs. Despite its minuscule size the fossil preserves an astonishing array of features. Wisps of skin, intricate feathers, and even traces of its last meal remain visible. The preservation is so complete that scientists can study the arrangement of its feathers, the structure of its claws, and the texture of its skin, all in remarkable clarity. One of the most striking discoveries is the presence of a full set of flight feathers on such a young bird. This suggests that Enantiornithines may have been capable of flight almost immediately after hatching, a trait that set them apart from many modern birds. The advanced development of their wings hints at a life of independence and agility, even in their earliest days. Millions of years ago, Enantiornithines soared through primeval skies, their silhouettes darting above dense forests and ancient rivers. They shared their world with towering dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures, dominating the skies in a time when the earth was teeming with life and danger at every turn. The discovery of this fossil, one of the most complete avian specimens ever found in amber, has revolutionized our understanding of early bird evolution. Scientists can now examine the fine details of avian anatomy, bones, feathers, and even soft tissues, up close, allowing them to reconstruct how these ancient birds lived, moved, and interacted with their environment. The amber's crystal-clear preservation doesn't just reveal bones, it unlocks secrets about the biology, growth, and life history of these long-extinct creatures. Scientists can study the microstructures of feathers and tissues gaining insights into how these birds developed, what they ate, and how they survived in a world so different from our own. Even the tiniest fossils like this fragile hatchling have the power to transform our understanding of evolution. Each discovery adds a new piece to the puzzle, revealing the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth through the ages. The story of this ancient bird is a poignant reminder of both the fragility and resilience of life. Against all odds, its brief existence has been immortalized, allowing us to witness a moment from a world long vanished. Each fossil discovery inspires us to cherish and protect the biodiversity that surrounds us today. By safeguarding our natural world we ensure that future generations will have the chance to marvel at the wonders of life, just as we do when we peer into the past. The journey of discovery is never-ending. With every new fossil unearthed, we gain fresh insights into the story of our planet, deepening our appreciation for the intricate tapestry of life that has unfolded over millions of years. Amber's golden tombs have revealed ancient dramas, evolutionary leaps, and the interconnectedness of all life. Will you join us in exploring these prehistoric treasures and uncovering the secrets they hold?